Hi everyone, welcome back on the Tropic Marin channel. My name is Sam Nietzscher, I'm a researcher at the University of Oldenburg, located in the beautiful Wilhelmshaven, and we're in the aquarium facility where we conduct coral research that is also supported by Tropic Marin. If you're interested in what we do here and how everything looks, then please check these videos out. In the previous video, I talked about the bulling system, which we use to keep our corals in our system happy. The bulling system is our basic supply system to supply the corals with what they need for the skeleton, but of course they also need trace elements. And that's uh, where these two solutions come into play. It's the A- solution and the K+. The A- has the negatively charged anionic uh, elements and the K plus has the positively charged cationic elements. And that's also the reason why they're separated. So the cations are positively charged, the anions are negatively charged. If I put them together, I might get compounds made from these uh, components and then these would not be available anymore in solution for our corals so that's why we have to keep them separate but they supply our corals with the trace elements like trace metals so metals often have a really bad rap for being toxic which is obviously true you don't want to have metals in high concentrations certain metals can be really toxic already in fairly low concentrations but the corals still need those metals for their metabolism like building proteins enzymes like their everyday work basically to grow and produce nice coloration. So if these are not available, it comes to a depletion of these elements, then the coral functions are reduced and you might lose color, you might lose growth, you might get other problems. In the A- elements, you find really important elements like iodine and fluorine, which are also very important for the coral health, particularly uh, sensitive genera like Acropora, they don't like that. Unfortunately, we made the experience ourselves that if iodine dips too low, they, they really don't respond in a happy way. Some of the elements that are in these solutions are being used up by the corals and the other animals and organisms and bacteria in your tank in certain ratios. So it makes sense to have a, a solution that combines several elements in one, so you don't have to add all of them individually. The dosing and the application is super easy as well. So we use it just as it comes from the bottle or the canister in our case, we have a, a bit bigger containers than these. They go straight into the dosing container and then being dosed from there. Of course, it's really important that you also keep track of the dosing and keep an eye on the concentrations in the water and adjust your dosing because every tank is different depending on stock, on age, on a lot of factors. I mean, you all know that uh, no two tanks are the same. The recommended dosage for beginning is one milliliter per 100 liter. So that's also really easy. Uh, that's a good concentration or a good dosing to start with and then keep track of your water chemistry and adjust accordingly. So happy reefing. Mm -hmm.